I'm Polish Pete, and this is my finesse jig setup. So when I'm finesse jig fishing, I like to use a bait caster. A lot of people are switching over to spinning rods for like that micro jig, or I would consider ultra finesse fishing. I'm still considering anything three eighths and up a finesse jig uh, to about half ounce is my finesse jig fishing. I'm using a round ball head jig most of the time when I'm using a finesse jig. I like round ball jigs because they do a couple things for me. Uh, they come through rock and wood really well, but I can still get them through vegetation if there's sparse vegetation around, things like that. I also like the way they stand up if I'm using high float plastics on them. Therefore, it's almost like I have the best of both worlds of a spinning rod style jig to a, to a flipping style grass jig. I like the ones in particular that have a vertical line tie because I can clean the grass off them easier. I can skip with these. So basically what I'm getting at is, is this style of jig is extremely versatile. I like it. Right here on this one happens to be a Buckeye uh, ball and out jig. I have a hula stick from Z-Man on it. And it actually stands this jig up on the bottom. So it's almost like the opposite of Ned Rig being super finesse that I'm almost power fishing a Ned Rig, uh, but it's still in the category of bait casters, a finesse jig. I like to run a seven foot medium to medium heavy. This particular rod's a medium heavy uh, power rod and uh, extra fast to a fast uh, tip on it. So the rod tip's gonna load up really fast when I wanna set the hook at a distance with this. I run braided line to a fluorocarbon leader, and that way I can adjust my sink rate, I can adjust my line size for the water clarity I'm dealing with, so that braid gives me the versatility of being able to put whatever size leader I need on it. Right now on here, I've got 15 pound fluorocarbon on this, and I'm still able to fish this around vegetation. If I throw it into some thicker vegetation, I can break it free without confident, and keep confidence that my knot's gonna hold up if I set the hook hard on a fish. I like to run a really fast reel. This particular one's only a seven one to one, which in its day was really, really fast, but uh, uh, eight one to one, is, is fine for a finesse jig. I, the slowest I would go is this speed is a seven one to one. I can clean up my slack line, like I said, I can keep those fish pinned. Uh, I'm not working this bait with my reel. I'm working this bait with my rod. Therefore, I'm using just the speed of this reel to keep slack line out. So if you're looking to get into finesse jig fishing, I would try out a rod that's at seven foot, maybe up to a seven three, medium, medium heavy power rod with a fast tip or extra fast, get yourself some braided line, learn a line to line connection with fluorocarbon and go catch them.